Yet uh, there is no answer. Now, why not? This is a compliment to the Sikhs as against the Pakistani mullahs. They don't tell lies. <laughs> they may misinterpret, if they please. But it's impossible for Sikhs to tell lies relating to Hazrat Guru Baba Nanak. They truly respect him, and never once we have heard a voice of dissent from the Sikhs regarding the contents of Poti Sharif or the contents of that Chola Baba Nanak. But they are in, indeed in an indefensible position regarding their claim that Hazrat Guru Baba Nanak had introduced a new religion. Moreover, how could a new religion be introduced which did not claim to be universal after a universal religion had come? Why Sikhism remained confined to the Punjab? And why it did not spread the whole, in the whole world and why the entire world was not at rest by it? Four hundred years have passed since the coming of Hazrat Guru Baba Nanak and they have not done anything, done anything about it. There's another, other proof that Hazrat Guru Baba Nanak was in fact the defender of the cause of unity of God. And he drew a large following from among the Hindus, ex-Hindus who became Sikhs, and by becoming Sikhs he became devotees to the oneness of God. And also a large following, um, fo following from among the Muslims. The last row about the burial of Hazrat Guru Baba Nanak is the f final nail in the coffin of the opposite argument. You know when Hazrat Guru Baba Nanak ultimately died, his corpse was lying and his followers got divided into two sections. Those who had hailed from the Hindus, they insisted that his body should be cremated like the Hindu bodies are cremated. Those, Bhai Bardana in particular, and those who followed him from among the Muslims, they took the stance that no way we shall permit the body of Hazrat Guru Baba Nanak, who is a monotheist, to be cremated. He should be buried. Now, it was suggested when the raw advanced without any conclusion that, all right, let's wait for the night and next morning we'll decide. And the next morning when they returned to the place there was no corpse. <laughs> you see, I am certain myself that Hazrat Guru Baba Nanak's body, because he was a true believer, was saved by God from cremation and the Muslims took it away secretly and buried it somewhere. And the row ended. But another problem began. The other party said, if the body is absent, it must have risen to heaven. So a new history was created in the midst of mankind. Before Hazrat Guru Baba Nanak's so-called ascent, bodily ascent of his corpse, Prior to that, in the entire history of mankind, people, living men, have been told of having ascended to, to heaven. Never before a dead man was claimed to have risen to heaven. But wherever he was risen, fire could not touch him. Because after death, that if the fire touches, this is the sign of wrath of Allah. So if you don't accept him to have been buried here, he was buried somewhere else in the heaven. But he was not cremated anyway. So these are Ahmadiyya claims about Sikhism, and we find no contradiction whatsoever in the life of Hazrat, Muhammad, Hazrat Guru Baba Nanak and the Ahmadiyya claim that he was a great saint born from among the Hindus who became a believer in the Holy Quran and Islam and fought a great battle against idolatry. Right? Thank you.